Welcome back to Memories of the Game presented by Yankee Steiner Collectibles. During this season of the show, we've been giving away amazing prizes and memorabilia to fans who are in need of our help. We recently learned about a situation that happened over at the Ronald McDonald House in New York City. The Ronald McDonald House shelters children who are being treated for cancer along with their families. They come from all over the world and are provided with a place to live, play, and hopefully a place to heal. Recently, there was a fire in the basement that destroyed the playrooms that these children desperately need in order to take their minds off their treatments. Treatments that include chemotherapy, blood transfusions, and surgery. The rooms were rebuilt, but they were empty and the walls were bare. So a call went out for anyone who could help. Brandon Steiner, along with the New York Yankees and Data Vision, heeded that call. They brought with them collectibles and memorabilia to not only decorate the walls, but inspire any child that looked at a picture and said to themselves, I can do that. I can overcome this deadly disease and I can be great. Sports and games can not only inspire us, but they can heal us. These items contain more than memories of the game. They allow a kid to forget about things like surgery, scars, nausea, so they can just be a kid. Once the room was transformed into a playroom, Brandon sat down and met some of the kids that lived in the Ronald McDonald House and would get a chance to enjoy the room along with their families. Fitzgerald Clarkson came from Grenada with his father and grandmother after Grenadian doctors were unable to explain why young Fitzgerald had suddenly lost the ability to walk. The Clarksons came searching for answers and a cure, and the Ronald McDonald House and its volunteers helped to give Fitzgerald some hope when the family needed it most. The story started when he got sick and we was, cannot, could not have found exactly what was going on with him. We came up and we did the route, we got to the hospitals, they, they sent us to another hospital. They found out exactly what was going on with him and it's called ALL, acute lymphotic leukemia, lymphocytic <laughs> leukemia. So they exactly found out exactly what was going on with him. So We left with no major preparation except to know that we want to get him better. We would like to see him not, we like to see him walking again. We like to see him running the way he's was running. Was he not walking? No, he was not, he was walking. not walking. So the father... Because uh, he seems to be running around pretty yes, good today. Yes, exactly. But when he so came here... But when he came here, he wasn't walking. Um, how do you feel through all this? I mean, have you been... How do you feel from the time you came here to, to the time you are now? Better. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much better? 10 being a lot better. 10. Wow, so a major improvement. Uh, have you been to any ball games? Yes. Which ones? A Yankee game, the Jets game. Knicks. You went to the and Knicks. the Knicks game. Yeah. Now, who's your favorite player so far that we you know from all the games you've seen? And now that you've been in New York a couple of years, I assume you're a New York fan. Who's that? Any particular reason why, or just you just like him? Just like him. You just like him. Now, when you look at this room, now you've been here a couple of years. Fun room. Uh, you look, looking forward to playing around in this room a little bit? Yes. Uh, what in the room uh, is seems special to you? What, what, you love it? Wow. <laughs> so DataVision and Sony are your new friends. Those are people that installed that. <laughs> well, first of all, we wanna, I want to present you a... I got I to gotta turn him into a Yankee fan before he leaves. And, and <laughs> so we have a Derek Jeter jersey. We know you like Derek Jeter. So we make sure that you have this to wear in your future. Thank for you. Junior. Anything you want to say to people as far as what's going on here at the Ronald McDonald House? The Ronald McDonald House is, has been his rock. It has been one of the catalysts, as I would say. When he came in here, he was using a wheelchair. When, as the time goes and the children, he came out of it in like in a month, a month or two months, he was out of the wheelchair, pushing the wheelchair around. He was standing up walking with the wheelchair instead of sitting in a chair wheeling himself around. Okay. And because of the whole playroom, the whole setup in Ramadan House and everything, it stands out most is a volunteer that helps Fitzgerald, the person. Meaning the people right now who is making the little movie with him, the people who's gonna sit and talk with him, sit and look at a movie with him, 
play with him. And when we saw the amount of people down in the playroom, I asked myself, is everybody working? And they said, no, we are volunteering. But we are volunteer to come and play with him. If there is one thing, other than the kitchen where we cook the Grenadian food for him, <laughs> that is the thing. They're going to come and play with him, you know, and, and that's the whole thing. I can sit in the room and maybe relax. They will play with him. They're going to paint. They're going to look at TV. They're going to they're going to do it with him, and that is what is the key for him. Tristan Greer is a newbie at the Ronald McDonald House. He and his father came from Tennessee and have been living at the house while Tristan recovers from surgery. How has this place been? And uh, share a little bit of your experience with this home. Um, I tell you, it's been wonderful here. We've, um, I didn't really know what to expect. This is our first time coming up here. And um, the people that we met that are, that are working here are just absolutely amazing. They've really made us feel at home. And Tristan, how are you feeling? Good. Feel a little better? Yeah. So now how long have you guys been here and how long will you be here? Uh, we've been here, we'll be here almost three weeks. Uh, we're actually leaving this coming weekend and uh, we'll be coming back uh, in about a month from now and it looks like we'll have to continue to be coming up here about every month and uh, for treatments and um, so it's, but I mean this is a great place to stay. You know they've just been tremendously you know, helpful up here and make you feel at home. So we're very thankful that we're here. Now your whole family here? Uh, it's just Tristan and I right now. Our family came up originally uh, a couple weeks ago with us, and um, we were, were having, well, we had surgery. That's why he was here. Can you explain a little bit about how that worked and how you're feeling from that? I'm kind of in pain, like, most of the time, but I'm kind of tolerating it, too. So I've been walking around a lot, trying to, like... Walk it know, off? Like, yeah, walk, it, walk out. it off. But it's going to take some time to recover. Is that your first operation? Um, this is my first major surgery. I had a biopsy done and I had my appendix taken out like last year. This time it was his, he had a, a, a huge tumor in his abdomen and um, they, uh, Dr. LaQuagli over at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering was able to go in and take his tumor out and um, just an amazing physician. So we're very, very thankful. What do you think about this room? I mean, you know, could this be a fun room for you to hang in, you think? Yeah, looks really cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Complete. This is incredible. Some of the things down in here, very nice. What in this room interests you the most? What caught your attention? Um, PlayStation. You love that? And the, du and the dual monitors donated there by Sony, huh? Yeah. I can already tell it's going to be fun. We're back at the Steiner Sports offices, joined by Yankee Steiner CEO Brandon Steiner. And Brandon, that was an amazing thing you did for those kids. Well, Tristan and Fitzgerald were warriors. I mean, it was just so motivating to be in, just in that home and, and actually have the opportunity to enhance the home with uh, the basement and the flat screens. But I'll tell you, what was great is we got to take Tristan to a game. He enjoyed a Yankee Red Sox game. We had a blast. That was so much fun. And, uh, well, Fitzgerald had a little bit of a setback. He had some work being done and had some minor uh, surgery done. So we're hoping to be able to take him to a game in the next couple of weeks because, you know, that ball of energy, that kid was fire on ice, <laughs> and hopefully we're going to get him to a couple games. And, man, actually, maybe you need to hire him, actually, because <laughs> he's got that kind of love and passion. Uh, you can see there's so much leadership in that kid's eyes. Uh, both of them are warriors and, and really enjoyed uh, my time at the home. Hopefully I'll be able to make it back and keep making that room better and better. You told me you think that that one might have been one of your best ones yet. Do you guys just keep trying to outdo yourselves each time out? I think so. I mean, that was such a moving moment for us to be there and kind of enhance the house. But we're really hoping that people step forward and give us what they think should be the Steiner hookup so we can keep going forward and helping as many people as we can. All right, a challenge. All right, I like it. Well, we are out of time, but if you know anyone who deserves a Steiner hookup, please write to us and don't forget that any item you've seen on this show can be found at steinersports.com along with the full interviews of all of our guests. And for anything and everything Yankees related, simply have to go to steinersports.com. For Brandon Steiner, I'm Jessica Tapp saying thank you to all of our guests and all of our viewers. We'll see you next time on Memories of the Game presented by Yankee Steiner Collectibles.